Parabolus! Parabolus! I'm here, Gingrenich. Here. Here. I'm here, Gingrenich. There you are. How uh, did the budget meeting go? Ooh, about as expected. They didn't withdraw all my funding, did they? They wouldn't eliminate uh, such... The cosmic endowment's been cut by 90%. Universe building is considered non-essential. <laughs> it's over. It's history. Pack it up. They're canceling the universes? Why one of my universes? What is it, bad ratings? What they said is, too expensive to maintain. <laughs> Not enough return on investment. But they're thinking in the short term. Creating these universes is an investment. Oh, I told them that. I told them how these universes spawn ideas and cross-pollinate and artistic merit and blah blah blah. <laughs> and they said, unless you can demonstrate some sort of infinite redeeming value to the universe exhibit, all funding will be revoked effective immediately. So you think if I were to take a good look around and find something of infinite redeeming value, they might reconsider? Like what? DNA? <laughs> Saran wrap? <laughs> it's just not good enough. Hey, it's over, Parabolus. Right-sizing. That's the word of the day. Well, a swell and wealthy relative of mine had up and died, and I received a hundred thousand from the will. So a friend and I decided to convert this into liquid form in the middle of our So we started in the city, had a drink in every shitty little gin mill. That's really quite a few. Then a cabbie up in Harlem took us clear across the river into Brooklyn, where he joined us in the food. Now he was weaving just a trifle by the time we hit Astoria at 80 miles an hour in reverse. But that was nothing to the weaving that we did as we was leaving, and from time to time it got a little worse. Well, there's nothing like drinking up a windfall, baby. We were drunker than a monkey with a skin full. So goddamn drunk it was sent for, and I believe I ain't sober yet. Oh, poor me, audience. Callahan's place is real. I'm not allowed to tell you the exact address since the owner, Mike Callahan, doesn't want that kind of publicity. Neither does my friend Spider Robinson, the guy who writes down the stories I tell him about Callahan. But I'll tell you this much, it exists in our universe, in the outer arm of our spiral galaxy, the Milky Way. It's on an island just off the coast of North America, Long Island, on Route 25A in Suffolk County. From there on, you're on your own. But the way most people find Callahan's is, well, they just sort of find it when they really need to. Like the night this guy walks into the bar. I should tell you right now that I'm not a detective. I'm not a spy. I'm not a leader of the Rebel Alliance. And I don't run down quarters shooting everything in sight, although I know some otherwise very nice people who do. I'm a folk singer. Yeah, that's right, a folk singer. Now, I know it sounds glamorous and obviously fraught with life-threatening situations and heart-stopping peril. But try to keep up with me anyway. I spend a lot of time at Callahan's. As a result, you are not the first person to take up temporary residence inside my head. You probably won't be the last. A few of us are accomplished psychics, and the rest of us are trying to learn. Anyway, you'll find out more about Callahan's as the evening goes on. But right now, it's riddle night. And as usual, Doc's supplying the riddles. Pay attention, because if we don't win this contest, we're broke. And if we're broke, the evening's gonna end mighty early. Okay, ten riddles. Everybody know the rules? Excellent! When you think you know the answer, write it on the blackboard or talk to me. Go ahead. Is there a time limit? No, there's no time limit. Now go, hurry!
Well, if it isn't Jake Stonebender, the Bard of Queens. I don't live in Queens. Yeah, but the Bard of Hicksville doesn't cut it. I don't live in Hicksville either. That's your opinion. I've been there, and I'm telling you, you live in Hicksville, man. How about a hint from one of the riddles? Giving up a little quick, aren't you? You haven't even looked at the puzzle. Details. Should we step over to the blackboard? Yes, let's do. Good. You don't want to wait until slate in the game. Ooh, another pun from the always chocular Doc Webster. I think I've got a riddle answer for you. You think so, huh? Let's go see. Hmm? I need a clue. Yeah, but that's one of the things I've always liked about you. Seriously, I don't know how to solve these things. Mike will tell you. He's got the spiel memorized. Can't you tell me in a nutshell? Well, we're already in a nutshell, so what the hell? Basically, each of the riddles, one through ten, is a name of some sort, and all ten names are in the same category in one way or another. Figure out the name by coming up with other words for each of the words in the riddle. For instance, if the riddle were peer, spider's trap, agitate, that'd be my name, Doc Webb Stir. You'd write... Doc Webster, in the space next to the clue. And if it's correct, I'll put a ch Now get out there and solve them. Now, mon ami, go, go, go! Wow, three amigos. Jake. Mike. Good to see you. What's up? About Riddle Night. I need some help. I don't get Doc's clues. Well, they're a little tough this week. You know Doc, but the theory's simple enough. The answer to each clue is a name, so we're looking for ten names. Names of people, names of groups, names of movies, you never know. Each name's been broken down into words that, when put together, sound like the name. And the clues are synonyms for the words. Huh? Give me an example. Okay. Say the clue is... The clue is... Steel, flying animal, color of anger. Thank you. Now, you'd figure out what those four words are. Oh, okay. I get it. I need some help. I don't get Doc's clues. Well, they're a little tough this week. You know Doc, but the theory's simple enough. The answer to each clue is a name, so... Each name's been... I get it. On second thought, never mind. I can handle this. No sweat. You got it. Ask around. Everybody's pretty mellow about sharing their progress. Jake. Michael Finn. How the hell are you? Not too shabby. You... Tolerable well, thank you.
Jake. This is Zilch. A pleasure to meet you, uh, Dizigluch. I apologize. Presently, my command to, or of the English speech, is fractional. Presently, I attempt improvement. You may call me as squishing noise. Well, how about just squish for short? Squish? Zutet full. Well, kiddle, squishy, good. Jake, you should keep this. Evening, Jake. Officer Bauer. Is this an official visit? I'm officially visiting, but I'm off duty. So you're not just waiting to slap the cuffs on Alfie should he happen to drop in? Far as I know, he's clean. Can't a cop simply go out to a bar without being hassled? Am I interrupting something? Nope. Doc and I are just weighing the merits of various tropical beans. HMO, Alexander Robert, Azratanical Thinkacorn, Dimericlotilde Benson Floydy. Learning anything? Yeah, whoever filed these sucks at alphabetizing. How long have you been waiting? I'd like to buy six of the finest, freshest number two pencils in your warehouse, please. We don't sell pencils here. 
Don't you find that odd? This is a business office, not a retail store. However, I will be happy to give you six pencils if you please go away and leave me alone. Ooh, she's cracking. You're getting to her. Keep it going. That would be fine. Thank you. Here. Oh, these are black pencils. I was looking for different colors. We don't make different colors. Here, then. Oh, wait a minute. I changed my mind. I'll take those pencils after all. I don't have any. But you just... I don't have any. They're right in that... I don't have any. I think you may have done it. Oops, false alarm. Good job, though. I choked, I choked. Thank you.